shit business. Hi, this is Toolshed TV, uh, Fuckbox News. Um, yeah, I'm here to talk about the whole, you know, debt crisis and everything that's going on, man. It's been a crazy couple of days. Uh, I just checked today, and the Dow fell um, 4.31%, or 512 points. This is one of the worst drops I think it's ever had. Maybe not the worst ever, but it's still it fell down to 11,383. And the only reason this is scary is because it's been dropping, like, every day. I think it dropped the last, like, eight consecutive days. So that means that basically, like, there's no end in sight. Like, everyone wants to know, like, oh, when's this thing going to end? I, in my personal opinion, it's going to get a lot worse before it gets any better. So, I mean, it's not looking too good in that regard. But, uh, yeah, the reason for this whole thing is, I don't know, you probably heard, you know, unless you've been living in a cave or a tool shed, but, you know, we have internet access over here. So, there's been uh, a lot of controversy over the whole United States debt situation. Like, I mean, we all knew we were in debt for a while, but recently, like, the U.S. came very close to actually being, like, unable to pay some of its bills, which should have been fucking crazy. But yeah, as of right now, the total debt is somewhere around $14.4 trillion. And uh, according to the the Department of Treasury, on August 2nd, the U.S. would have ran out, the August 2nd was just two days ago, the U.S. would have ran out of money to pay essential services, basically meaning that they didn't have enough money to pay active military, social security, federal employees, all those people wouldn't be getting paid if the debt ceiling was an increase so they could get more money basically to pay essential services. But uh, thankfully, you know, that was passed. Obama passed, it passed the uh, Budget Control Act, which is good because, you know, that was necessary. But the thing is, like, they kind of it's kind of quiet now, but this by no means, means you know, it's a, it's a good thing, but it's a short-term solution. In the long term, is still a huge problem with this whole debt thing. Uh, like, 14.4 trillion isn't going to be easy to cut down. Like, I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's troubling. It's a troubling number. And you can understand why uh, the stock market continues to tumble. You know, it, it got inflated based on, basically, false expectations. Everyone thought, like, oh, we're good now. But now, all of a sudden, you know, the people are coming out saying that the United States isn't, isn't much better off than, like, Greece and some other places. And people get scared, and you know, like it's gonna tumble. Like I don't know how it's gonna go. No one can predict that, but it dropped four four percent today. And nearly, it dropped over five hundred points. Like I don't know. Like it's not. But the reason I have a problem with the situation is like it's it's likening it to like a personal standpoint. It's basically like getting into a lot of credit card debt, and the way you pay that off once you have to actually pay it off is just getting more debt to pay that off. Like getting another credit card. Like, it's, it's the problem, like, it's it's a lot easier to get into this debt than it is to get out of it, but, I mean, I don't know, I don't know how you how you fix this whole situation. Like, suggestion-wise, if you're in U.S. stocks right now, I'd suggest getting out because I can't see this, like, being a short-term drop, but I could see this, like, I could see it falling well below 10,000 again, like, I don't mean to be a pessimist, usually I'm the most optimistic person ever, but... It's just, like, no one's ever had, like, back, they always teach us in school and everywhere that the safest form of investment you could have is a U.S. Treasury bond or whatever. Now, at this point, like, it doesn't look safe at all anymore. Like, the U.S. government was, uh, was almost at a situation where it couldn't pay its Treasury bonds. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, the safest thing now is probably, in, like, you know, bonds from Apple or something. Because Apple has a lot more money than we do right now than the whole government. Just ridiculous. Like I don't know. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a good situation, basically. But yeah. Uh, as a suggestion, get out of U.S. stocks if you want to buy something safe. Buy. I can't even advise Treasury bonds anymore because the U.S. might be going, you know, default or whatever. It was close to it. Like I don't know. I'd say get some stocks maybe in Brazil. Some. Uh, what else is we? Uh, the whole world spirit's fucked at this point. Like not not long term, but like it's not a good situation for them. But um, what can I? What else can I? I'd say Brazil get some uh, bonds in like Apple, some safe companies like Procter and Gamble and stuff. Those are still looking pretty solid. Uh, yeah, if you want to take your money overseas 
anything that's not euro related or in America, like maybe like Brazil, some of the growing economies, like somewhere like the Ocean area, New Zealand and stuff. Those are all like looking a lot safer than we are right now. Like, I don't know. I don't think I don't think America is screwed long term, but like they're gonna have to work real hard to get this get rid of this fucking debt. Like, not get rid of it, but just trim it down to a reasonable number. And the and the main problem I have with this whole thing is the Democrats and the Republicans. They're like they they have to put put aside their like differences and stuff just to for just to formulate some sort of plan. Like you know you immediately know what their each side is gonna advocate. Like, the Democrats are going to suggest increasing taxes. Like, you see, increase taxes, increase taxes, and you can get rid of the debt. The Republicans are going to say, don't increase taxes, just cut things. Like, cut, you know, whatever, the budget, cut, like, certain things. Like, and the two sides never seem to get along. They have their own stupid, like, agendas. Like, this is a major crisis, as we saw a few days ago. Like, this is huge. Like, if this, if this debt ceiling wasn't, this debt ceiling isn't a, isn't a long-term answer, as I said before. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to come up with something. You're gonna have to come up with a long term solution to cut you know, to cut debt. Same thing with consumer debt. if you can consume how do you solve that? You stop spending as much money, maybe you make a little bit more money and you make a conscious effort to, you know, like just keep getting keep improving, keep getting us more like cash inflow like every every few weeks and stuff. But I mean, I don't know, this isn't I don't know how you get rid of fourteen point four trillion dollars. It's a lot easier to get into it than it is to get out, but I don't know, maybe you gotta, you gotta get the military out. You gotta stop spending money there. You gotta lower federal like employee salaries. I really don't know. It's, it's not looking good, but I mean, it's it's definitely doable. But they have to kind of. I feel like it took this much for people to even start talking about it. Like it took the uh, the threat of bankruptcy for people to be like, well, listen, we're in trouble now. Let's come up with a plan. Right now, the plan is just increase increase more debt and just, you know, use debt to pay off our current debt, which isn't, which isn't like an ideal solution. Like though, somehow you have to find a way to get rid of debt. I think, I think America's going to figure it out, but I think it's going to take a little bit, like it's, it's going to take people to, like the realization that we're going to be fucked if we don't, you know, pay this off. I think, I think you're going to have to combine the, combine increasing taxes. You're going to have to, you know, cut a lot of, a lot of programs, a lot of stuff like that. But I mean, it's 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 doable, but it's it's gonna be a bitch to get out of this. Dad. That's all I'm gonna say. And we're definitely gonna be feeling the effects of this for quite a few years from now with higher taxes. Maybe like I don't know. My guess is Social Security is not gonna be around for much longer. So if you you if you've been paying into that, like you're kind of fucked in that regard. I'm sorry to say that, but there's no way they have the money for that. And I don't know, I don't know what's, like, it's a combination of things that got us into this problem, but, I mean, I think we'll be able to get out of it. I mean, you know, we've, we've faced quite a few problems in, in the U.S. economy and the U in the history of the United States, but, I don't know, this is a major problem. Let's not, you know, take it lightly. Let's actually, like, we, we have to get rid of this debt somehow. We have to do something. I don't know. Uh, but the, other, the good thing is, though, this the crisis happened, and it got us thinking. So, I mean, that's... You know that's that that's a start, but yeah. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's a solution. Like if there's anything you, you I said that was perhaps wrong that could be fixed. But you know, you know, leave a comment below. You could subscribe to my channel. I try to put out new videos every week or so. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me there. It's you know professional way to follow me. But um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like it's 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 tough, but it's doable. But you know, I'm not an econ economics major. I don't know what to. I don't really know how to start attempting to solve this problem. That's that's why they have people a lot more qualified than me doing this. But yeah, that's just my take on it. But yeah, thank you for listening. Have a good day and stay safe.